This is a thermal imaging recording of my electrical system inside my solar power room. This first panel that we're looking at right here is the utility inverter input panel. This is the panel that feeds utility power to my inverters. And I'm doing a scan here. Uh, I don't see any issues. You see the colors changing because the scale. Let me uh, let me fix the scale a little bit. The way it won't be moving. Well, it won't let me fix it in the rec video. It doesn't look like. Anyway, there, I don't see any issues here. The second panel. This is the inverter output panel. The AC coming from the inverter. Now, if you notice. There's a little difference right here on this um, center right there. It's at 89 degrees and the other wire is at 88. So it's only one degree temperature. Even though when you come down you see it looks like you know, there's a big difference but the temperature scale on the right is not very large. So when I put the put the dot over there I can measure the temperature and measure the temperature of the other wire and there's no issue there normally you wouldn't be very concerned about uh, temperature differences in your wire until you get around five degrees that one degree is, is insignificant this is the um, system output panel this is the power that actually goes uh, to the transfer switch on the outside that goes to my house that ultimately ends up in my house it actually goes through another transfer switch this here is my solar power room utility panel this is what's feeding the lights and the receptacles no issues there that right there is a power supply for my um, um, solar assistant, the Raspberry Pi for the solar assistant. A little darker, I mean the brighter spots right there, That uh, that's from the outside so there's outside temperature coming in there. I see I'm going to have to, uh, before I get through with all this, I'm going to need to stuff those conduits to reduce that heat input into the, to the building. It's my iPhone this is my transformer now the cool the core of the transformer gets pretty warm so that's 125 degrees and that's part of the losses that you have in a transformer is that you're heating that up so that takes some power uh, but the windings are cool and the wiring is cool so there's no issues with the wiring since I've been sitting in here, the inverters have gone from kind of where they are now to about 16% load to close to 40% load. That's not the maximum that it's seen, but it's the maximum I've seen that since I've been in here. That's the AC input, AC output, no problems there. The batteries no problems there of course I'm not using any battery power uh, I'll probably scan again when I convert over to the battery and run the b another battery test again no problems AC in AC out this is internal wiring to the inverter this is the communication board so it's generating some heat battery terminals no issues Same here, AC wiring, no issues, battery, no issues. If you know a little bit about thermography, you also will know that you can't check the real temperature on a bright, shiny metal object. And you can look at these battery cables. I can get the temperature here where it's dark because I have tape on it and I can get a good reading. 
but that bright shiny bar right there I can't really get a temperature because you can see it depends on how I move my hand the temperature changes on that bar uh, because it's reflecting heat very much like a mirror same on inverter number five no issues all right the boxes I don't have them open I'm not going to open them up for now I had scanned this once before didn't have any issues with it with them but when I go to do a battery test again I will check that out this is the batteries the battery cable connections absolutely no issues of course you know it's, it's not pulling any load you see the red part that's that shiny metal on the handle so I can't get a temperature on it because it's reflecting heat probably off of me this is the DC the negative side again I can get the temperature off that wire right there but I can't get the temperature off the lug because the lug is bright and shiny and it's reflecting heat from somewhere else bank number two no issues again but that's not surprising because I don't have any load on it at any rate uh, no thermal issues out of the ordinary um, everything's looking good so I'm going to say the AC connections are good the only only little potential thing is, is right there but you can see there's just only a one degree temperature difference these LED lamps here they're pretty warm uh, on the end I may end up putting something else in here That's, of course these, these lights are only on when I'm in here but you can also see where I'm getting uh, heat into the building. Uh, that's uh, that's the seam in the ceiling that I just put in. I've got to come in and caulk those. Uh, let's see, that's the two. I don't know. Oh, okay, that's reflecting right up the top. See, that's that shiny metal surface. This bottom is the light fixture itself this top up here it looks like a, a second light on top of it but it's not it's actually reflecting off this uh, foam insulation that has um, uh, aluminum aluminum face to it so that's the reason you can't get a temperature reading an accurate temperature reading off bright shiny metal same thing here that light is reflecting here this is the light this is the reflection. Same here. This is the AC. Uh, let's see. That is uh, going to be one of those screw heads. So I got a little taping to do. But it all looks good. So I'm going to call this AC wiring uh, okay and it passes. So I will probably start closing my panels up.